Welcome to a world of beauty, art and religion located in the Ontario Kashuba region in Canada. This time we will present the artist of beautiful icons painted by Janusz Harczuk. In the course of our travels throughout the Kashuba region of Ontario, we had the opportunity to visit Janusz Harczuk in his summer studio in Kambamir, a few kilometers south of Barry's Bay. In his modest studio in the tranquil wilderness, you can find several dozen icons created in a characteristic religious style. We had the opportunity to see beautiful icons as well as talk with the artist of these interesting works of art. Janusz Harczuk is an architect, art historian and enthusiastic artist of icons. A little clarification. In accordance with theological teachings confirmed by the decree of the Second Ecumenical Council of Nicaea, Jesus Christ can be described in many ways. This means that he can be depicted not just through letters, as in the Holy Scriptures, but also artistically, such as in sculpture, paintings, icons, mosaic, and the like. This gave rise to the authoring of icons, rather than painting them. A different approach that gives iconographers their calling is the fact that an icon is religious record with the help of colors, shapes, and lines. In other words, the use of techniques other than letters in scripture. In the traditional sense of the word, Janusz is an iconographer. The word iconographer comes from the Greek, where icon means image, graph, which means to write. This is also where the Polish derivative is formed, ikonopisarz. In the Polish linguistics, using a paintbrush is called painting and not writing. Thus, an icon painter is also correct. It is worthwhile to note that the Holy Spirit is the creator of an icon, and the hand of the iconographer merely channels the intent in a visual form. In Janusz's gallery, you can find a number of traditional religious icons, such as the revered Black Madonna of Częstochowa. The original is housed at the Jasna Góra Monastery of the Pauline monks in Częstochowa, Poland. The icon that was made by the hand of Janusz Harczuk is richly decorated with gold leaves. The St. George icon. In this painting, St. George is depicted killing the dragon. He sits atop a white steed, dressed in silver armor. In his right hand he holds a lance, which is stuck in the mouth of the dragon. Next to them stands a princess, who was to be sacrificed to the dragon to spare the lives of the village's inhabitants. St. George saves the lives of the princess and the townspeople and frees the town of the cruel dragon. In addition to traditional icons, Janusz creates icons with a contemporary twist, trying to show the connection between our traditions and our modern reality. These icons include Saint Michael, the urban angel. This icon depicts Saint Michael against the backdrop of the Toronto skyline and was gifted to the former Archbishop of Toronto. His Excellency Thomas Collins received it in 2012 on the occasion of his elevation to the College of Cardinals. The Madonna in Siberia. She is dressed in prison garb. Of particular note, is the large number of crosses dotting the vast Siberian landscape. At the horizon, the northern lights can be seen, characteristic of impossibly cold Siberian nights. At the bottom of the icon, you can see the entry gate for the Gulag, as well as two guard towers. On the outside border is a list of places where Polish patriots were deported to. The Scouting Madonna. This icon was given to the scouts in the summer of 2016 in the Ontario Kashuba region in Canada. Modern scouting symbols in the icon are readily recognizable. The baby Jesus is dressed in a scouting uniform and a traditional scouting fire is visible at the bottom of the icon. The picture is framed with white birch, scouting crosses and fleur de lis with the inscription O and Tse, representing the Polish scouting movement's credo of homeland, education, and virtue. This picture captures the finale of the gifting of the icon to the scouts after Holy Mass in the chapel beneath the pines in the Ontario Kashuba region. 
the Kashube Blessed Virgin Mary. This icon is replete with symbols and ornaments that bear a characteristic Kashube color palette. There is an acknowledgement of the traditional roots and language of the Ontario Kashube grand, 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 grandparents. The beauty of this icon is due in part to the positive message of keeping with the traditional values that allow for the safekeeping of the Kashube culture in Ontario. Kashube Cross. The archetype of the Kashube Cross can be found in the King's Chapel at St. Mary's Basilica in Gdańsk. It was gifted in 2006. The Kashube Cross is recognized by the Kashube people all over the world, particularly Canadian Kashube people who reside in the scenic region of lakes between Combermere, Wilno, and Barry's Bay. The same cross was gifted to the Church of the Holy Virgin Mary in the Kashube region in Ontario. This cross can be found in the church in Vilna. The Smolensk Virgin Mary. This icon has a traditional character, but its contemporary symbolism appears on the outside border. The 96 crosses on the perimeter symbolize the number of people who lost their lives in the crash. The corners contain the chessboard symbol of the Polish Air Force. The three eagles on the frame are complemented with a pilot's badge that features an eagle in flight. The Virgin Mary of Unborn Children. This icon is inspired by Our Lady of Guadalupe and the message that she sends us is to protect defenseless unborn human beings. The creation of this icon will be described by the artist Janusz Harczuk. Tu jest y, ikona Matki Boskiej dzieci nienarodzonych i tym z tym kojarzy mi się nasza droga powrotna z Florydy, gdzie zawinęliśmy do San Agustin. The icon of the Virgin Mary of Unborn Children reminds me of our return trip from Florida, where we stopped in St. Augustine. We planned to stay there for around three or four days, and I think we were there three days. I got in my car and drove, looking around at various things, stopping occasionally. Suddenly, I noticed a sea of white crosses next to a church, each no more than half a meter high. White crosses, possibly a thousand of them, filling a field. This intrigued me, so I stopped the car, got out, and looked at them. I was stunned as it corresponded to the imagery in my icon of the Virgin Mary of unborn children. The crosses and everything was so moving that I started walking in the cemetery, taking pictures, reading the tombstones. When I got back to the motel, I showed them to Irene, my wife, and Eva, our friend, and they were similarly moved. And I am moved to this day. I don't know, something, someone led me there, to that place. So I could see that cemetery, and the pictures of that cemetery are a great addition to the description of the icon of the Virgin Mary of Unborn Children. Janusz Harczuk warmly invites visitors to his studio from May to October, but please contact him first at the phone numbers shown on the screen. This program was prepared by Elżbieta and Bogdan Gajewski, who can be reached by email at the address gajewscy at gmail.com. Thank you for your attention.